Hello and uh, welcome to 5 minutes about ADHD or and autism. My name is Vibeke and I will share uh, some of my experience or some of my thoughts about um, about this. Today I will uh, share an episode where a boy came to my house and uh, take my dog for a walk. He he does the same every day, same route, same uh, everything. Um, but this day, uh, my dog came too close to two boys who was walking in front of him. It turns out that these boys is having ADHD and the boy who walks my dog is having autism. Um, and uh, one of these boys with ADHD, he's afraid of dogs, it turns out. And uh, he felt that dog came too close. They were walking very slow, talking and chatting together. Um, but, but the autistic boy who, who walked with my dog, he, he wants to push forward, so the dog is, is coming very close to the two boys. Um, it would have been easy for many people just to take the dog to the, to the other side of the road. But not, not this, for this boy. He was autistic and it had to be on that road, on that way, uh, on that sidewalk he, walk, he used to walk on. So. So um, the, the boys with ADHD turn around and say, Hey, what's up for your dogs? Uh, your dog, watch it. And the autistic boy say, thought, mm, It's easy. I, I watch it. It's right there. What's the problem? He, he, couldn't, he couldn't put himself um, into the other boy's thoughts about being afraid of dogs or anything. So he stopped and waited for them to leave. And they stopped for looking at him. What was he looking about? Why did he stand there looking at them? He, in his head, he had to stand there and waiting because it was his sidewalk. It was there he was supposed to walk. And if he couldn't um, get the dog close to the boys, he had to wait. But these two boys uh, is uh, very touchy. Many people with ADHD have a, a quick way of getting angry. So. Uh, they were getting angry. What are you looking at? But the autistic boy doesn't hear the tone and he doesn't look at, the, at their angry faces. Um, so he said, mm, I'm looking at you. Which was the very, very concrete answer. Uh, and the only right answer he could come up with. Um, but not a good answer in, in the two boys' uh, way of thinking. So they came close and say, what are you looking at? Very angry. This boy with uh, autism, he thought, oh, okay, they are not clever. They are asking the same question again and again. I will speak slowly so they might understand it. I am looking at you. He was really thinking about them, caring for them, but he was beaten up. He was hit uh, several places. He was kicked in the stomach. He was... Uh, uh, thrown on the road um, my dog is a little bit too kind it didn't do anything to help him I'm afraid but but um, when he came home we had a good talk about it what did happen um, and uh, and later on we we tracked down the two boys and, and all of us had a good talk uh, about what happened and um, I, I use this example because it is typical for the one with uh, autism. He, he cannot figure out another plan. He cannot go to the other sidewalk. That is not what he's used to do. And doing things he's not used to is frightening him. And the two guys, uh, two boys with ADHD, I think all the boys was just about um, 12 years old at this time. Uh, and the two boys with ADHD, they were, um, um, they had a, a, they were angry fast uh, and the, and they react before they thought about how it was smart to react um, and that was why the, the the conflict was escalating so fast and so much i hope this little example can can tell you a little bit about how it is to have adhd or autism or you just have to uh, look at, at the next part um, then i will tell you a lot of more things hello from me